vitu ina tiko abubakar bola ahmed tinubu rabi musa konkoso and fita obi who do you think is likely to win the presidential election this time obi why Peter obi why because obi is younger than all of them we are voting for pdp this time around because he wants a vice president and he knows the problem of this of nigeria now people are talking of a, a neutral party which is labor Labour Party. Yes. That is Labour Party of Peter Obi. Yes, of Peter Obi. Peter Obi is trying for the first time. They are kidnapping all around. Nine thousand. Oh, I will not be very happy. My name is Damlari. Online, you're watching Legit TV. The 2023 general election is coming this Saturday, 25th February 2023. Today, we are going to conduct an opinion for on who is going to win the presidential election between Atiku Abubakar of FDP, Bola Ahmed Tinubu of FEC, Peter Obi of Level 40, and Rabiu Musa Konkoso of NNPP. Let us hear people's opinion on who is likely going to win this presidential election. Legit TV, stay tuned. They are kidnapping all around. 9,000. I will not be very happy. My name is Dam Larry. Come on, you're watching Legit TV. The 2023 general election is coming this Saturday, 25th February. Uh, Who is likely to win the presidential election this year? Obi. Why? Peter Obi. Why? Because Obi is younger than all of them. Why? He's a younger man. Mm. And again, Obi get uh, just my reason, not, not because he's a young man, and he get, he get intelligent than other ones. Uh, I think Abubakar is somebody that uh, going party to party. Uh, you know, but but, but he's not a stable. He's, he's a rock, a stable water. Okay. He's a stable, he's not a steady man. So that was that, that because of being a vice president or that's like that. He's a man of steady. Uh, I think Abubakar was in a P APC, leave APC, enter the PDP. Once the PDP enter, leave the PDP enter APC. So such a person now we cannot trust him. Is it? Uh, and uh, there is uh, people are saying that uh, Peter Obi is contesting in a party that is not well known to Nigerians, Labour Party. So don't you think that uh, uh, that will affect his uh, candidacy? It can't affect because if God says he'll be there, it can't affect him. Because God can raise men for him. Because everything is a heart of everything, everything is God. God can raise men for him. You see that? Because you will see that uh, in the time of David, in the Bible, the Bible said that the man was in the bush. Not even a contestant, but to be a king. But from there, God brought him and made him a king, and he raised a supporter for him. Who do you think is likely to win the presidential election? The person I, I, I can say will win, I cannot say actually, it is only God that can decide who is going to win the election. But for the past experience and for the past view, I can say Peter Obi is trying for the first time. Understand? Comparing to Atiku, somebody that has a knowledge of something is different from somebody that is at the first time. You understand my saying? Then on the Tinubu of a team, Tinubu may have experience from friends for the past, but he has not been he has not ruled before. And for his efforts, spending all year and year, and the support of the APC may make him to come in. But for the article of 18, Atiku have one time be a vice president that knew about the seat and can be able to tell somebody how the seat is. And on the other side of Atiku, Atiku is ready again maybe to spend. But on Tinubu of 18, Tinubu can spend presently, but doesn't have the knowledge. But on uh, OB of 18, Obi may compete, uh, that is, com make comp competitive with the two, these two parties I'm saying, APC and PDP. But for me, in my mind, I look at Obi that is just trying. Maybe on the second aspect, that is, on the second time, he may be up. It's just as if he's been using this time around as introduction. Okay, what about Concourse? Uh, Concourse is just trying. The way Obi is trying. Okay. That is how Concourse is trying. trying. Because the two parties mm -hmm. I may mention, APC and, and PDP, PDP, in fact, they are on, on high level. Who is likely to win the presidential election? Actually, PDP is likely to win this election. Why? Uh, because from what people are saying and 
from the House of Representatives, all the National Assembly, the Assembly, PTP has members there. That's why I say PDP is likely to win. So you are talking about House of Assemblies. What about the masses? Who do you think masses, Nigerians, will vote? Actually, people are talking of change. Yeah. Now, people are talking of a, a neutral party, which is Labour. Labour Party? Yes. That is Labour Party of Peter Obi? Yes, of Peter Obi. Why do you think people will prefer Peter Obi than PDP or APC? Uh, because he's of the class of the youth. We want a youth, somebody, youth to be in that position now, to carry the youth along. Because our, our, our elders have ruled us for too long. So we want a young person now to be there. That's what we are calling on Peter V. We are not talking of party this time around. We are talking of credible person, somebody that will take us to the promised land. Nigeria needs a prophet to take Nigeria to the promised land. So that is what we are talking now. So the ruling party or no ruling party, we need a change. We don't need to measure any person. We are, we are voting for PDP this time around. Because we are seeing that maybe he's the righteous man. Because he wants a vice president. And he knows the problem of this of Nigeria. And we, we are taking the favor right. We beg God to help him. For the masses to vote for him. We don't need this one cover on the day of voting. We try our possible best, pull our shirt, beg our followers to vote for him. Because what we experienced in this regime for eight years, Kai, we can experience such in three, four years coming. People will die. Because no food, no f factories, no any structure in short, no any facilities. So we, don't, we, can't, we can't go for this party again, APC. APG is a failure to this to the to Nigeria in short. No, we can't vote for Trinidad because in he dragged with Mr. President. He says he's a Jagaban in so he says he's the one that put Mr. President there that is his tongue. We don't know whether it's um how it's an irritated something. I don't understand. Mm. That is the reason why we can't vote for him. I don't understand. And again, he wants to use all his money because he has money to buy the seat. That's the reason why the man will can't vote for him. Because if he buy the seat with his money, we are going to suffer it again. I should understand that's why we can't go for Tinumbu. So we are going for PDP by the special grace of God. Who do you think is likely to win the presidential election this time? Uh, for me, I don't I don't think anybody would uh, likely win the election. What I want is person that will move this country forward. That is number one. And we, for me, I don't like it because I will go straight to the forward. Anything from Baba to Baba, we don't want from Baba to Baba. They are taking us backward. So between Atiku and Obi being the young uh, presidential candidate, I choose between two of them, one of them. We choose from one of them. Uh, do you have any, as in, uh, if you say the election is going to hold today between Atiku and Peter Obi, who will you uh, vote for? Uh, for me, no, I can't tell you. I can't tell. I will also put it in prayer. When anything God revealed to me is the person I'm going to vote. Because I'm not voting based on sentiment, uh, region, or tribe. People will turn up because of everybody, everybody based on this administration that passed. Mm. Everybody will likely like to come out in crowd to vote for anybody that they know that will repair this country. Hello, for now, I don't have any party in mind that will win, except by the will of God. Because I know it is God that has the ultimate power to say this is the person that will win, this is the party that will win. But for me, personally, I, don't, I can't say now because I'm not God. I know the one that God will choose for us is the one that will win among the parties. Uh, but a lot of things have happened recently, especially the change of this Naira. That is Naira redesign. A lot of Nigerians seem to be angry about APC. What can you say about that? <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, the, it, it's true, it's true. Even personally like this, since the, uh, the design of this uh, money, at least for me, the thing has affected me a lot. But what the, our president Joe says concerning the resign of this Naira, he says it's just to deter money politics. But for if it's true, it's what he wants to use it to do, it's okay. They say for we, we are using it for, for politicians. But it's not the politicians that will, the thing will affect. It affected all the, the poor people, which I'm among them. 
because I know what I have passed through within these few few days. But I know I know God will help us concerning this election. They are kidnapping all around. Nine thousand. I will not very happy. My name is Dam Larry. Online, you're watching legit. A lot of people with a lot of choices. Some are going for Fita Obi, while some are going for Atiku, others are going for Tinibu and Konkoso. Nevertheless, the election is coming this Saturday, 25th February 2023, where Nigerians will decide who is going to win the general election. From Legit TV, Sana Hamza Dawdawa. And behind the camera is Awal Bala. I want you to like our Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. And follow our YouTube channel, Legit TV, for more updates and more street gist. Good day.